Afloat with Henry Morgan. Diaz sees Delores leave the flying gull with Sir Thomas Mockford, and he suddenly remembers that he saw her in Cuba, and he knows that she is an imposter. He stops her and tells her that unless she meets him that night, he will expose her. Jeffrey Hunter is shown by the buccaneer Morgan his secret hiding place, where he keeps his most valuable jewels, including the Aztec necklet. Hunter discusses Kitty with Morgan and is advised to have nothing to do with her. But he goes to see her again, and she tells him that she is really in love with him. Dolores meets Dietz and confesses her identity and learns that Dietz has fallen foul of Morgan. So, you are an enemy of Captain Morgan. He has treated me with great injustice. You would like to see him destroyed? For a long time, I gave him my faithful services, and then this smooth-faced Englishman comes, and Morgan, he throws me out, gives his trust and confidence to this hunter. He lets hunter poison his mind against me, and then he throws me off the ship. You have asked me what I am doing in Port Royal, masquerading as Antoinette de Lacy. I will tell you. I have come here to destroy Morgan. <laughs> You, a woman? You think to trap Harry Morgan? I do. <laughs> you think that to smile upon him, he'll tell you all his secret plans. <laughs> you don't know, Captain Morgan. He has no time for women. His only interest is go buccaneering on the high seas. Your father should have known better than to send you to Port Royal to trap Henry Morgan. My father did not send me. I came because I wanted to. You are going to help me. By what name do they call you? Yeah. But hold a moment, woman. You are telling me what I must do. Is not the shoe on the other foot? You think I take orders from you? Tis you who wish to remain undiscovered, Senorina Pizarro. And I want money. Lots of money. You fool. If you listen to me, you will have all the money in the world. There is another reason why I am in Port Royal. Have you ever heard of an Aztec necklace? The Aztec necklace? Aye. Cash Henry Morgan's black heart. It was mine, and he took it from me. It was mine, and I want it back again. You can help me get it back. Hmm. Why should I? Because I will pay you whatever you want. It is worth a king's ransom. The king's ransom you will have. More money than you ever dreamed of. It will get for me, the Aztec necklace. Yeah, but Morgan, he is throwing me off the ship. How, how can I know the whereabouts of the Aztec necklace? How can I take it if I cannot get back on board? Then you must make friends with Captain Morgan. You must regain your position on the ship. Ah, that is impossible. Maybe I get back as a member of the crew, but my other position, it's gone. Hunter has taken it. Tell me, when you were the trusted servant of Morgan, did he discuss with you any of his immediate plans? Yeah, that is where he'll miss me. All his successes have been dear to me because he discussed his plans with me. This Mr. Hunter, he is a strange man. I offered him my friendship when I met him aboard the Flying Gull, but he spurned it. Don't speak to me of that man. I hate him with all the passion of a Spanish heart. Has he not taken from me the woman that I want? So he has done that. Then he is not indifferent to a woman's charms. He asked, would you like me to make him fall in love with me? <laughs> if he spurned your friendship before, how could you make him do that? There are many ways and tricks a woman can use to make a man take an interest in her. Oh, well, I must not stay talking with you any uh, longer. Uh, a morning, just before you go. I have no doubt that when you left the house tonight, you came prepared to buy my silence. I had hoped that I could. You come give it to me. And every time you meet me, you see you bring money. If you wish to remain known as Antoinette Alessi. <laughs> to find you aboard the ship tonight, Captain Morgan? I got sick of being on land. I like to feel the broad planks of a ship beneath my feet. I'm lonely when I'm away from the flying gull. I'm glad of your company. Look here at this map on the desk. Look you closely at it. Nicaragua. I see it. I've had a word of interest about that part of the coast. I heard from one of my spies. You have spies in Spanish possession? Oh, of course, my lad. You don't think all my adventures are done by luck? Buccaneering is a highly specialized undertaking. What have you been told by your spy? There is a mule train laden with treasure arriving at one of those towns along the coast. And why should that treasure go to enrich the Spaniards when it might enrich me? Your idea is to raid the town? Definitely. 
I'm just waiting word which town it is and when the train is due to arrive. Surely the town will be fortified, strongly garrisoned. Undoubtedly. And that suits my taste for adventure even better. I should get a word in today now regarding the mule train's destination and when it's due to arrive. And then, lad, it's up sail and we're off. There's something about planning an expedition like this, Hunter. You'll find after a while it gets into your blood. The thrill of a fight and always there is the uncertainty of the finish. And the rewards are great. Who's there? It is Diaz, Governor Morgan. I want to speak to you. Diaz? But once he here? You'll find out. Roll that map up. Can I come in, please, Captain Morgan? In a minute. Throw that map over there behind the chest, Hunter. Mm. Yes, come in, Diaz. Ah, yes. You will pardon this intrusion, Captain, but I had to see you. I'd hoped that you'd be alone. Whatever you have to say to me, Diaz, you can say in front of Hunter. Come mm. to the point. I realize, Captain Henry, the, uh, the grave mistakes I've made in the past. I admit I've earned your distrust. Can't you and your heart find forgiveness? Ah, you expect me to take you back. So that's what it is, is it? And after you caused a disturbance in the Dolphin Tavern? I realize now I was at fault. My jealousy, she got the better of me. I, I know now I, I make the big mistake, but I want to say it again under you, Captain Morgan. I'm a good fighter. You have found use for me in the past. Oh, please, I beg of you, you take me aboard ship. If you don't, there's nothing for me to do in Bodwell. I will starve in the streets. Please, please, you, you must have a little mercy in your heart. I appeal to your generosity. Ah, stop your whining, you sick of me. So you want to come back aboard the flying galley? All right, you can, the arts. But if you cause me the slightest bit of trouble, I'll hang you. Yeah, 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 I understand. I realize I'm just like any other member of the crew. You're back on board. What are you waiting for? Get out. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Captain Morgan. You'll find out before long that I am a very good friend of yours. Maybe a truest friend. I thank you for your generosity. Good night, Captain. Hunter, bring out that map again. Just let me see if I can guess where that mule train will be going. But, Captain, I fail to understand you. Why did you give Diaz a berth aboard the ship? Because he asked for it. Listen, Hunter, I'm Captain. With the exception of yourself, every other man aboard this ship's a cutthroat, a liar, and a knave. I'm not taking any risks in taking the yards back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to question you. I'm just puzzled, that is all. And besides, he's a good fighter, and he knows Spanish. So do I, for that matter. You do? Well, by St. David, there's a lot I'm learning about you, there is. I think I'm going to find you, Hunter, more useful to me every day. Now, back to the map. have only one pair of hands. You'll have your drink in a minute. And whoever it is who's grabbed my wrist, let go or I'll hit you over the head with this pewter mug. You would not treat an old friend like that, surely. Why, dear? I've come back to have a real talk with you. You take a look at me. You thought you were a very smart one. You thought the arts was a no account, eh? You think you like that pale-faced Englishman better, eh? Let me go back to work. You're half drunk. <laughs> I have a good reason to be. I'm going to be an important man, a very important man. You think Diaz of no account, eh? You look. Look my pockets. Look. Aha. Uh -huh. Full of pieces of aid, eh? And that is only a little bit. Soon I get a lot more. <laughs> I'm a very successful man. How did you get all that money? What have you been doing? I'm such an important man. The Captain Henry Morgan, he came to me and he said that he wanted me aboard his ship. He wanted me to go back aboard the Flying Gulf. <laughs> Aren't you the foolish girl? You know that someday you'll be with me, Diaz. You're uh, mad to think that. Ah, uh, then it is you who is driving me mad. You will see soon your Englishman hunter. He will be on no account. I will have lots of money. I told you the last time I was here what I will do with that money. And I buy you, Kitty. Oh, you're drunk. You'll never get the money to buy me. <laughs> but maybe I not have to buy you. Maybe you listen to what Diaz says, eh? Then you'll find out the Englishman is paying too much attention to the kinswoman of Sir Thomas Martford, eh? You're a rotten liar. And get out before I smash your face in with this pewter mug. <laughs> All right. You wait and see. Roll the map up, Hunter. Put it away. There's no good speculating. We'll know where to go when we receive word. Come in. Why, Mademoiselle de Lacy, 
It is an honor. Captain Morgan, good evening. And Mr. Hunter, too. How fortunate I am to find you both together. Uh, Sir Thomas, he's with you? Oh, no, I came down here on my own. Mademoiselle, you must be mad. Surely you know better than to come to this quarter of Port Royal unescorted? But I came in our carriage. You must be told, mademoiselle, that it is not wise for a lovely woman to be unescorted down to the quays. Oh, 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 you are a flatterer. I am quite all right, and my mission is so important. I have come to invite you, Captain Morgan, and you too, Mr. Hunter, to dinner the night after next. I'm delighted to accept. What about you, Hunter? Would you accept my apologies, mademoiselle? I'm afraid I am unable to attend. Oh, please. I regret, mademoiselle, very much. Once Hunter makes up his mind, mademoiselle, you cannot change it. Oh, I am so disappointed. I realize now I was foolish to come to this ship. It is not right for me to come unescorted. I will take my leave. Perhaps, Mr. Hunter, you will escort me to my carriage? I shall be charmed, mademoiselle. Oh, oh, won't you take my arm, please, Mr. Hunter? I find it so hard walking on the deck of a ship. There seems to be so much rope and other things about. Certainly, mademoiselle. One could so easily twist one's air. Oh! What is it, mademoiselle? Oh, Mr. Hunter. Oh, oh, I have made such a fool of myself. I have done the very thing I was afraid of doing. I have twisted my ankle. I fear I must ask you to carry me to my carriage. <laughs> Dolores is determined to win Jeffrey's friendship. Can she break down this reserve he's built around himself? Listen to the next episode of Afloat with Henry Morgan.